wrote, For sale, baby shoes never worn. A few years ago, Smith Magazine, an online magazine uh, that I started about four years ago, psychotically, much like the rump, it's a very bad business idea starting an online culture magazine, so we're really glad you're all here. We decided to give the six-word memoir a personal twist. Um, so we asked people for six-word memoirs instead of six-word stories, because we're all confessional these days, um, and it went really well. And uh, one day when... Uh, I have that little six-word uh, memoir alert, a little Google alert on myself, which I know all of you have too. Um, we started seeing how many people were using it other ways. We had people asking, what would Jesus do if asked to write a six-word memoir? We had kindergarten classes using them, um, and, and synagogues and support groups, and there's an internet security six-word memoir contest that we had nothing to do with. Um, so it seems to have taken off. Uh, we also did six words by teens. We just did an event at the New York Public Library. The teenagers are very, very emo. They put you all to shame. Um, but we have mostly grown-ups here with us tonight. We've had, um, to the site Smith Magazine, over 200,000 six-word memoirs submitted. Um, we've done four books. Some of them are uh, available outside. All the profits will go to the rumpus. Um, good for that, like, oddball cousin for Christmas, or um, grandmothers like it. Um, we have 200,000 uh, six-word memoirs, and tonight we have 20 six-word memoirs. Uh, I know some of these people, I don't know all of these people. Some of these stories are true. Some of these stories were written before, all of them are true. Some were written before Obama was elected. Some are very intense and some are funny, and they come from different books and different parts of their lives. So, without further yapping, the six-word memoirs. Bill Sweeney. Leaving Jersey was a good idea. <laughs> David Thorpe! Found myself. I lost my hair. <laughs> Julie Clam! Hired me. Fired me. Married me. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth Williams! Inspiring role model becomes a cautionary tale. <laughs> David Cummings. Black in America and loving it. <laughs> Anne Heisler. I found my mother's suicide note. <laughs> Nick Balaban. Mojo search resumes. Impossible flowers bloom. Lee Payne. That lady sang to my husband. <laughs> Lara Tupper. Key West. I'm eight. Mom's topless. <laughs> Gary Belsky. Wow, didn't think she'd do that. <laughs> John Lesser. Waited for her to be legal. <laughs> Kim Smith. They fought. He bought. She forgot. <laughs> Dan Rollman. She broke my heart by email. <laughs> Joanne Flynn Black. <coughs> Red Eye, Him Window, Me Isle, Love. <laughs> Salim Rashamwala. Arranged marriage, now sounding pretty good. <laughs> Mom, close the door. 
Sandy Fernandez. 1979, fled Nicaragua. 2009, still processing. Josh Gosfield. Pingo parents said, go make art. <laughs> Hi, I'm Roxy. To be continued. Lisa Chu! Journalism major, not afraid of death. <laughs>